Hello YouTube, I'm going to be showing you guys today how to install a normal cooler or a normal LJ 2011 cooler on a Dell or Tell Precision or a, or any board that has the narrow ILM um, 2011 bracket. You see how this one is rectangle and this one is square. The square is a normal one. So what I did was you unscrew the narrow one and then it has the same mounting holes right here as the normal normal one on the consumer boards because this is a this is a dell precision workstation but it, it works just fine too so i have the the regular one right here and it lifts right off that's the regular 2011 socket cover and then right here is, is the is the one for the servers or for mini itx 2011 boards as you can see it has the notch this notch in the corner right there and you have to match up the notch right there and the bracket too. All you have to do is screw these down now too. I use a tool like this. And what you do is you just, um, just screw this down like that. You want to do it like in a cross pattern. You don't, you don't want to put too much force on one end. So I'll just show you guys. I'm putting it back right now. This, um, I have 64 gigs in here of DDR4 RAM. And so, these are my processors too. I have um, the the E5 26 80 V3s. These are 12 core, 12 core, yeah, they're 12 cores. 12 cores, 24 threads, and I have two of them. So that's 24, 24 cores and 48 threads right there in total. And these are the crappy coolers that I took off because they're not enough to cool most of these 2011 CPUs, these are upgraded ones, and this is just pure aluminum. And for these kind of processors, you're gonna want copper. So the reason I swapped them out um, for the coolers is because I'm gonna put like stock, like Cooler Master Hyper 212 coolers on here. And you, and it's really easy to do it, so instead of buying like $100 plus like coolers just for this model, if you know what I mean. So then you can just, if you buy these like from the old, like dead X99 motherboards, like from Asus, you could buy ASR Rock, um, MSI, any of those consumer boards with a single socket, you can just take off the dead socket, you can just take out the, the socket cover and use it on a working dual socket CPU thing. And now you'll have a workstation. And this one has two 795, 275 watt power supplies. And um, it has, has an onboard USB too, which is pretty cool. And also, um, yeah, so this is the CPU one. And if you only have one CPU, you're gonna wanna put in CPU one. Cause if you have it in CPU two, it will not, it will not post. Cause it needs this one, the, the, the main one to work. And these different, these different um, PCIe slots do different things. So as you can see in the back right here, CPU two sleep CPU slots are right back here. Go to there, and if you don't have CPU two installed, you can't use the slots. CPU one's PCIe is right back here, and you can see this is the main one, the X sixteen for a graphics card. I put an RTX twenty eight in here too, but I had to do a mod where I can't, where I had to use a PCIe graphics um, cable. It uses a regular twenty four pin, I'm pretty sure, but it uses a weird connector right here that's not standard to power the PCIe slots and if you notice there's no um, like 24 pin really I mean there's this but I don't think it's like a normal 24 pin if that makes sense and then and then this right here is for um, the LCD on the front that's the power button I have two blu-ray drives I have two and a half inch SSDs removable drive bays and I have um, the stock um, three and a half five days right here so yeah i hope you guys enjoy this video and i hope you guys i hope i helped you out hope i hope i helped you out guys with this and also just really fast before i go if you ever want to see out this board just unscrew all these screws right here along the board and then lift up this one right here this right here and then pull on this and it'll just you see it lifts up the board that makes sense and you can just take it out and do service on it too. So I hope you guys enjoyed. And this is 
how to install a stock 2011 LJ um, three um, socket nor a, a normal stock stock it on a server motherboard like a Dell or HP. Thank you for watching. Bye.